it is a special day today. It is our seventh wedding anniversary. Yeah, not bad, huh? Just so we are going out on a little date. We're going to a nice restaurant called East. Mm -hmm. Specializes in vegetarian food. Oh, it's to die for. Really elevated food. It's really nice. And then Good we'll ambience. maybe go out for a few drinks, see what happens, get some nice shots of this beautiful city that we are so proud to be from. <laughs> So if you're wondering how we met, well, it's a Tinder love story, very modern love story. There's a lesson in this. If you're sitting there, if you're alone, but you're worried about the stigma of these apps, just go for it. You might meet someone really amazing. I met Tim, so lucky. Just go for it. That's right. We are one of the more successful statistics from Tinder. That was an amazing first night we met. We drank, we hung out, we talked all night. We really bonded. So we actually got engaged very shortly after same-sex marriage passed in New Zealand around yeah. 2013. Yeah. Um, so we were a couple years later, but we really wanted to celebrate that legislative progress. That's right. It was a long time coming. For Australia, it was even longer. They took a heck of a long time. It's crazy. Yeah. And as someone who I grew up in a really religious family, mm. the institution of marriage is sort of very important to me, and uh, many of my siblings were married as well. So I wanted that journey for us even though we're a queer couple and yeah. aren't necessarily religious ourselves. That's right and marriage wasn't really that important for me like there's lots of ways you can show your commitment as a couple right yeah. but I do enjoy the symbolism of it I think it's a sweet ritual yeah. and yeah I just wanted to rub our gayness in, in people's oh, faces a little yes. bit. It's a wonderful <laughs> Why not? celebration of the whole community. Yeah. It was a terrific party oh my gosh the whole family chipped in all our it friends was. and family it was wonderful. Yeah and, and people learnt things that day and grew and changed and it really was an amazing part of our, our lives getting married has been a huge privilege yeah and no I'm regrets to share it with you baby word of advice marry your best friend marry the person who you can be your the weirdest version of yourself yeah with. and be silly and spend all your money on travel and food yes <laughs> i'll talk about that let's get some food let's go <laughs> about East that would normally be warning signs. Um, for starters, it's on the bottom floor of a hotel, the Sudima, uh, and also it's kind of a fusion place. There's lots of different Asian cuisines represented. However, it is really good. It has delivered every time we've been before, so give it a shot. I think it has a 4.6 on Google. In this case, you can trust Google reviews. <laughs> Drama. Drama. Okay, so we've ordered. I'm very excited about what we've ordered. So we've ordered the spring onion pancake, which I'm hoping gives us life like the one in San Francisco did. It was amazing. Uh, we also got gochujang cauliflower. I love everything gochujang. And Korean at the moment. And Korean at the moment. Um, we got the chestnut wontons, which are in a chili broth. So that's kind of the wild card. Really, that's excited. wild card. We got jackfruit bows, which um, always good, always good. Love a bow. Um, and then for our sort of like the main dish, because those are all like smaller sharing dishes, uh, we're getting a panang curry and some jasmine rice. So completely stacked. Can't wait for the food. Ooh, here we go. Mm, little zing from the gochujang. Mm, little pocket of wonderfulness. Mm. It's like a deep fried fish bowl, but it's not. It's cauliflower. So tasty. Mm. I love that it's so vibrant on the plate. It's like neon orange. It's like, look at me, don't ignore me, I'm awesome. And you are. And the chili broth. Mm, like a hot and sour soup. Let's try one of these long tongs. Mm. Mm. Hey, I'm an absolute. 
absolute slag for a bow moment. I'm hoping these won't disappoint. They're really hot, which is always a good sign. Okay, so this is jackfruit. Mmm. Very peanutty. Nice sauce, almost kind of a, a barbecue essence. Lots of coriander too, which is always a good thing. Little cloudy cushions. So delicate, so beautiful. The food is stacking up. What's next? So we have the spring onion pancake. This brings back cheerful memories from San Francisco, Chinatown. I'm wanting this chili sauce just to blow my head off. I want to be decapitated. Love the pancake. Lovely savory flavor. I think they could up the ante, up the ferocity on the chili sauce, but I can't complain. The seaweed also gives it a nice dimension. Never seen a spring onion pancake I didn't like the look of, and this one looks really good too. Some chili all over it. Mmm. Mm. There's no crackle. Very nice. Look at this. Look at these little bundles of vermicelli noodles. So this is the Penang curry. Mm -mm -mm. That is really lovely. Mm. It's creamy, it's aromatic. It's like a hug, it's so good. So to tell you a little bit about our wedding itself, we got married in Hamilton, though we now live in Auckland and we did at that time too, but we were Hamilton boys. Uh, and we got married in a community hall and then we sat down in a local kind of like cafe which did some sort of wedding-y conference things. Doing things cheap was the goal above all else. Yeah, we did it on a shoestring budget but everyone chipped in. My sister did floristry, um, my brother helped with photography and his Another girlfriend. Another sister made a cake. Yeah. Tim has many, many siblings. It's very yes. useful in times like this. Everyone chipped in and it came together really well. It wasn't perfect, it wasn't entirely stress-free, um, but we really achieved what we hoped to achieve. We also had some quite interesting outfits, so all the girls that were in our wedding party, we told them to all wear white. The groomsmaids. Yeah, we were just thinking it would be the easiest like <laughs> colour, like they could just buy whatever they like and whatever they feel comfortable in, and if everything's white it will all match. But so it looked like we had five brides on the day, it was wonderful. Yeah. So much to choose from. So much to choose from. All brilliant women. Yeah, yeah, but it was a super fun day that the whole community helped out with and um, came through really nicely. our way to find a nice bar to have a bit of a cocktail moment. Unfortunately, the marriage hasn't been uh, fully smooth sailing. I did discover there was an issue with Tim's uterus and that he didn't have one. <laughs> Disaster. I'm Baron Sharon. So we're in Caretaker, and here you don't order a drink off the menu. They ask a few questions about what you might like and then make a drink up for you. So we're going to be surprised by what they bring us. I said I was feeling something creamy and then he asked me what my favourite dessert was, to which I replied a tiramisu. So I'm expecting something maybe coffee oriented or chocolate, we'll see. Oh la la! Yep. 
that fits the bill. Very creamy, desserty, delicious. Well, I've got something very interesting. It has absence in it, so this is going to be wild. Ooh, that is nice. Living my Moulin Rouge fantasy with this absinthe drink. Green Fairy. The Green Fairy. It's a really cool spot. Awesome staff, great experience. Yeah, another place to recommend. It's been a wonderful day. We've had an awesome time. Thank you so much for coming along on this journey, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye!